That's got to hurt. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of the original games in some way. Keeps that nostalgic vibe. His hand's not entirely close to his face. Like when you pull back, you want to be able to have it straight like that. Hi, my name is Ed Gage. I've been an archer for about 19 years, and today we're gonna have a look at Link's archery skills in uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to more episodes of Experts React. Oh, that's sick. Those explosive arrows are sick, oh my god. I'm trying to remember what year gunpowder was invented, because obviously gunpowder is what's used in the explosive arrows they have today. Based on my familiarity with the previous Zelda games, I think those might be magic bows that explode. That might have something to do with it, with like the, the magic and all that in the game as well. I've never fired an arrow with fire on the end or any kind of like explosive on it. Would I try it? Maybe? <laughs> My concern would be either burning my hand or just blowing myself up. <laughs> I'd rather do it with safety and precaution. No, it looks like it'd be fun though. I'd give it a shot. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> I like how, you know, he's using it as like a sniping skill. If your character is trying to infiltrate the enemy, they're gonna wanna be as quiet as possible and not be seen. Oh, an arrow is definitely something that is silent and smooth. That's awesome. When you're riding a horse and you know, you're shooting from that far of a distance, it's all about, you know, accuracy, balance, being on the right time. It would take not just an archer, but a highly skilled horse rider. If uh, the horse is going the same speed as you, it might be easier, but what you're gonna do with the horse, you know, galloping or cantering, you're gonna have to balance the bow with the pace that the horse is running. It's kind of like a metronome with music. Like you have to be on the right time, be on the right time with it. It seems like the horse is able to like steer and move while he's shooting. Realistically, when you're trying to steer a horse, the reins, those are used to steer the horse in the right direction. If you're focusing on shooting the bow and arrow while riding a horse, the horse is just gonna be going straight or wherever he wants, not where you want him to. Leave me alone! It's a cool concept because they've done it in not just video games, but even movies as well. That's probably not even an easy skill. Oh, that's cool. It's like a practice session. I've shot balloons, but they weren't floating though. That actually is giving me an idea to give it a try. <laughs> Video games is what originally got me into archery. That being a weapon of choice in uh, the video games, I just thought it was really fascinating. And then like I played with like a toy bow and arrow as a kid and all that. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of the original games in some way. It keeps that nostalgic vibe. Is that a parachute? <laughs> Whoa. He's fighting a boss character, so I can imagine why he's in a very panicking type of mode. If you're running and trying to shoot an arrow, somebody who uses a 50 pound pullback, you're gonna be focusing on pulling back with strength. His case, it's like a recurve bow, so maybe the pullback on that's not as hard. As easy as this. A recurve bow is just simple. It's just, you know, one end of the string attached to the other end. Whereas the compound bow, this is more technical. Right here you've got the eccentric wheel to give it more of a, I would say a stronger pullback, more uh, speed and endurance on the arrow when it fires. The compound bows are much more, I would say, complicated than recurve bows. And these are great. I like the compound bows the most because it gives me more of a workout. The way he's pulling back the bow, he's holding it like that. And that's not like how you're supposed to do it. How you're supposed to do it is have it straight like that. You want your left foot in front pointed like, you know, horizontally. But his hand's not entirely close to his face. Like when you pull back, you want to be able to have it straight like that. You don't want it to be like that. Like that's just gonna throw your accuracy off. I think that's the only part that's like not realistic. It's like mainly just about being relaxed. <sighs> I can understand why, from like a video game perspective, to be able to see the target. Maybe just the different looks of them is what gives it its unique appearance for its different specialty. They definitely got a cool look to them. I mean, it's definitely not like your average bow and arrows. They're definitely more stylish, I would say. <laughs> I like how they have like a vision of how they want specific bows to look, you know, maybe for different kinds of upgrades. The more I've seen games progress, they've been more about, you know, trying to be as realistic as possible. So maybe the bow is more stable than the other ones. 
I really like to see that archery is used as a weapon in video games. I would definitely play this game. It looks like it's a lot of fun. We all know like uh, games are gonna over exaggerate things, but you know what? That's kind of how it is. You know, you gotta over exaggerate it to make it fun. I appreciate separating reality from fiction. When you get to fictionalize something, you get to do whatever you want with it. Honestly, I think I might want to pick this game up. Alrighty, I'll give it a try. Are you used to rolling? Yep. Alrighty. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Gameology for more videos like this one.